I collected these pine cones from outside. I have a bunch of pine trees around me. I'm sure a lot of people do. They're planted pretty much everywhere, all over the world. I wanted to show you these. They are pretty long. We need to wash them because as you can see, my hands are sticky with some sap. So we want to get all this sap and residue and stuff like that off of here. There might be some bugs living in here. Who knows? I collected a bunch, probably like 50 of them, and they're all about this size. It's like maybe 5 inches, 6 inches long by 2 inches wide. So the first thing we want to do is drop them down into a bucket, something you don't care about. You could do these in like batches or just try to do all of them at once. But I'm going to just try to throw most of mine in here. And then we're going to actually pour out some water. We're going to do about like half and half ratio with water and white vinegar. And just let these soak for 20 to 30 minutes. Make sure that your pine cones are fully submerged in the solution. All right, I have some water in here. And now I'm just going to be pouring in some of this white vinegar. So this part's optional, but I added in a squirt of dish soap, and now I'm going to pour in my vinegar. This is actually going to kill any spiders and bugs. I actually already found a bug, and I was freaking out. I threw it back in here. I sprayed it with bleach. <laughs> but don't worry if you have a lot of chemicals and things going on, because we are going to rinse these afterwards. We just want these to soak and kill whatever in there. And I do want to add, if your fingers and hands start to get sticky from the sap, just rub some olive oil on your hand pretty well, and then you can go ahead and wash it with soap, and it should come off of your hands. I'm going to let this soak. It needs to be fully submerged, so what I'm going to actually do is just take an old plate that I don't care about and set it on top to weigh that down. <laughs> okay, so it's been about 30 minutes, and typically I would just, like, pour this whole thing out, but since I have a whole another batch full... I'm going to just try and save it if it's not too dirty and just pour the other pine cones in here. But now that they've soaked, I have to rinse them off pretty good. I'm going to rinse them just under some warm water under the sink. And I wanted to show you that they do end up shrinking. Like, look how big this like looks. And then here are them soaked. As you can tell, they look a bit smaller. They started to close up these little pieces, but we will get them to pop back out. We're going to end up baking these. I'm going to go ahead and start my oven. I'm going to put this on 200 degrees. That's all I really need. I put all my pine cones laid out on a foil on a pan, and I'm going to pop these in the oven once this preheats and it's all ready to go. Put them in the oven for about 30 minutes. That's really all you need. And you just kind of want to check it every now and then just to make sure all the sap and stuff has melted off and seeped down onto the foil. If some of it's left on here, it's not a big deal. It will harden up. It won't feel all sticky. Don't worry about that. Just pop them in there. This will kill any bugs as well that may be still left from our vinegar. So I just pulled them out of the oven and you will see down in there is some of the sap that had leaked off on the pine cone. So that's what you want to look for. I'm going to let them cool for about 30 minutes and then I'll be able to pick them up and start crafting with them. So I saw this at Target and I really wanted to recreate it. Well, hear me out. We're going to need lots of these pine cones about this size, as you can see. It's kind of like short. These are cleaned and ready to go. I got these literally out of a yard. I picked up this from Dollar Tree. It's just an auto funnel. And we're going to be gluing the pine cones to the funnel. We're going to be making a little Christmas tree. In order to make the little Christmas tree, I have them varying in different sizes. So I'm going to pick out my kind of my largest ones and work with those. We're going to start on the bottom and just use some hot glue. I'm going to go ahead and work my way around, grab another one and just place it right next to it. I think that's what's good about using 
this size as we can just kind of place it wherever we feel. It fits just fine. Once I got the first row done, I'll just go ahead and find a size smaller than the ones we just did, and then I'll start placing those kind of randomly. I'm going to kind of like stagger them so they're like filling in the gaps when they go around. Also, that's going to help with when we go around, we're only going to be doing like six of them this time around. The glue is so hot, but it takes it takes a second and then it finally dries. It's just kind of annoying because it's not drying fast enough, but once it dries, it is pretty secure, but they do move around a lot when you're working. It doesn't feel fully secure, so I'm gonna have to add in some more glue. So this time around, we're just doing five pine cones that basically whatever fits in there. I like that one. It's a weird kind of shape. I'm just gonna place it in like that. I'm excited to get to the top. Weird shape. I wonder if I... And now I'm kind of getting into this a different type of shape. It looks like these have these weird bumps on them. On the back. Wanted to show you guys from a different angle what it's starting to kind of look like. So I'm going to like slowly turn this. You can barely even see the funnel in there. There's like this little piece right here. So I might just take like a small one and just like fill in the gap. Probably what I'm going to go through and do. I have to finish this yet. I just have a little bit more and it will be pretty much done. I think it's looking super, super cute. I'm just gonna glue that right there on the top. I'm gonna have to actually go through and find any little gaps and just glue in a piece, push that in there. Hopefully it's touching something and that will help kind of fill in those little gaps. I'm just gonna go around and finish this up. I have even smaller ones. I got these from Dollar Tree last year. I'm just going to take a couple of these. They kind of have this sap on them. But I'm just going to use these to fill in little areas that I'm not too happy with. It's just a few. Like, there's one in here. So I ended up just putting the small Dollar Tree pine cones all over and just filling in any little gaps and it added this like white kind of overall look, white and brown look and I really really like the end results. It is so so pretty. I think I'm going to leave it this way. I was going to go ahead and paint it but this is with flash on. You can see like these little ones are white and it's kind of like sporadically throughout the whole piece. I think it looks pretty good with like the white and the brown. I was going to paint it an antique brass, the whole thing, an inspiration of the one I saw at Target. I don't know. I really like, I really like this natural look. So I don't really know. I might paint it still. And here are the difference. Here's the one on the left from Target and the one that I created. Let me know down below which one you liked better and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.